How's it going everybody? Joy of Sorrow here. Welcome to Joy of Sorrow channel. Just wanted to give you guys another update on the Pelican Covert 120 Angler Kayak. So, pretty much done a majority of the upgrades this week. Um, this should have been posted on my last video, but I painted the uh, hatch here, the top of the hatch, uh, gray using Plasti Dip and Krylon uh, clear coat to seal it. Same with, uh, well, not exactly the same, but I used a Krylon spray paint for the handles and I used the clear coat to seal that. I used this Krylon spray paint for these little areas right here where I installed these uh, adjustable uh, Pelican footrests. I've also gone ahead and installed two. Uh, nine, I think they're nine inch um, Yak Attack rails. This one here has the Omega rod holder already set up on it. That one doesn't have anything on it yet. It'll most likely end up having a similar Omega rod setup. The rod holder in the middle, that is the stock rod holder that came with the Pelican Covert. So went ahead and installed eyelets where originally the kayak did not come with them. They had this, the indents, you know, areas where you could put them in, but they just didn't have them. So I went ahead, went to Walmart, picked up a little box of six. It's like three bucks, so figured why not. So as far as functionality goes, it is pretty much functional and ready to go. I can hit the water at any time I want now. Well, except nighttime because I don't have uh, nighttime light setups, which that'll eventually change as well. But for now, I'm just happy to have gotten to at least this point where the kayak's foot, foot wells or foot pedals are back on. I can actually row it now, you know, without hurting myself too much or at least hurting my back too much. As far as what's come to come next, the seat will probably be the next big upgrade for now. What I've decided to do is I'm just going to run this uh, extra Intex inflatable kayak seat that I have. It's a little deflated in the back. I, found, I, just, I just was testing it today when I was trying to see where I wanted these rails on uh, the kayak. And I realized when it's fully inflated, it pushes me a little too forward. So I took out some air from it and I was still getting enough back support to you know for me to feel comfortable in it but eventually I want to replace that with a flip up seat I am thinking either those ones that you see at Walmart the Wise brand they're for usually actually for boats but I've seen some people actually just use um, eyelets usually two on the side here two on the other side there um, and some bungees and they'll just hold it down just like that I might just end up going that route for a better comfortable seat. So that'll be the probably the next major, major upgrade. The only other thing I am considering, which I can I can do by myself really, I don't really need any help, is you guys see where these little designs, these little nipples or indents are? I'm actually thinking about painting that area the same gray as I did the latch there. Um, just so that I can test the Plasti Dip to see if it can give it some extra, you know, some extra grip, so that it, when I'm, you know, trying to get into the kayak or move stuff in the kayak or position myself in the kayak, my feet actually have a decent grip on it and they don't slip because even though that stuff is, you know, it, it's pitted or has those little nips on it, it you still slide around when your feet are wet. So, but yeah. As of right now, she's ready to go. So that's pretty much it for this update. I don't know exactly when I'm going to get a chance to test her out. I'd like to take her out this upcoming weekend. Um, my, right now with my son being in online school um, and I'm having to take care of some IRL stuff, it's a little hard for me to find some time to take it out, at least you know long distance. So, But once I do, I'll let you guys know. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe. Have yourselves a great day. Or good night in this case. Good night.